Hi everybody, happy Wednesday. Uh, I'm a day late, but if you saw my message yesterday, uh, we had some storms and knocked out my internet, so I'm here now. I'm Emily Jaleski, and you're here with me for my weekly art chat live on Instagram. When I was just a kid, my elementary school art teacher told me I wasn't good at art. I believed her, and for many, many years after that, I believed that um, I wasn't artistic, I didn't have any creative skills, and so I avoided everything related to art. Um, it took me up until the time when I was married with a young child at home to rediscover my creativity and how much joy it brings to my life. Now I love to cheer on other women and help them reconnect with the things that bring them creative joy. These art chats are a way for me to share my thoughts on issues facing creatives and provide encouragement. Thanks for being here with me. Today, I wanted to talk to, talk to you about putting together a travel art kit. I love bringing my art supplies with me when I'm out of the house. Of course, my husband will tell you it could be difficult to bring them all, but selecting a small group of supplies to carry with you helps you be more intentional about how you're using your free time. In a given day, I might have a few spare minutes when I'm waiting on hold on a phone call, at my son's baseball practice, waiting in the car line at school, or during my lunch break. Your schedule might be different. You might have a break while you're waiting for a friend to arrive for a lunch date, before a doctor's appointment, or sitting outside drinking coffee. I like the idea of using our quiet time in a productive way. It's really easy to get lost on your phone, scrolling mindlessly on social media or playing a game, or just browsing Wikipedia. Um, Sometimes it is necessary to zone out and turn off your brain, but if you are working toward any kind of goal, um, like improving your art skills, um, those small moments um, in the middle of your day are gold. Being intentional about those small periods of freedom allow you to take back time from your day. There's a few benefits I've found to having a travel art kit ready to go uh, with you. Um, number one, it's small and lightweight. This is mine. Uh, it's good for making art on the go or traveling to further away destinations if you have to fly somewhere um, or going on a road trip. Um, keep in mind some of these suggestions I'm going to have for you in a minute might need to be adapted for air travel. You obviously can't bring a lot of liquids or plate paints on the plane with you. Um, so that's something to consider. <laughs> um, and <clears throat> you really want it to be easy to bring with you. Um, if it's easy to grab on your way out the door, you'll use it a lot more. Um, and if it's not, then it'll sit at home and um, it won't get used. <laughs> um, number two, having a limited supply of art supplies forces you to be more creative and to experiment with those materials uh, in ways you might otherwise not have thought of. Um, I didn't have room to bring uh, a ruler with me on my last trip, so I just skipped it. Um, and then it turned out while I was away, I realized that one of the pieces I brought with me could be used as a straight edge. Um, <clears throat> you could substitute um, a Stabilo pencil or charcoal for black paint. Um, there's all different kinds of substitutions you could make depending on uh, what you're looking for and what your style is, what kind of materials you really like working with best. Uh, number three, um, having a travel art kit with you allows you to record things that inspire you. And this could be patterns, a color palette, thoughts, composition ideas, um, a quick sketch. Um, if you're people watching or uh, see a pretty landscape or anything like that. Um, it's a great way to get things down on paper quickly so you can revisit them later in more depth and detail. Uh, number four. 
Um, it keeps your skills honed in your mind present instead of getting lost on your phone. Even if you only have a few minutes of time to sit and work, um, if you only have five or 10 minutes, um, that's five or 10 minutes that you wouldn't, that you didn't have before. And those um, little pieces of time really do add up. Um, think about it this way. If you could f carve out 10 minutes a day, um, whether you are um, messing on around on your phone, wasting time, uh, whatever, uh, in, in a week, you could have over an hour um, of time to rededicate to your creative work. Um, so with that said, uh, here is what I carry in my creative bag, my art kit. Um, so first of all, I just have this little canvas bag and you could, you can get the, this at uh, Hobby Lobby or Walmart or Target. Um, I think this was like $2 at Hobby Lobby or you could use a makeup bag or any, any kind of canvas pouch like this. Um, <clears throat> I have a sketchbook. Uh, this one is just a little, I think it's five by eight or something, um, it's by Arteza, uh, but it's just a nice size. Um, it doesn't quite fit in the, the bag with everything else in it, but it's close enough that I can just grab them together and go. Um, and then I have um, my brush roll here. So... In this, um, I have uh, just a couple basic pencils, um, mechanical pencils, and number two pencils. I have my favorite Micron pen. I have a couple water brushes, and these, if you don't know, you can um, take them apart and fill them with water, uh, so you don't even have to worry about finding uh a bowl or a cup or anything while you're traveling. Uh, and then I have um, a charcoal pencil and a stapilo pencil. Um, and then also, uh, these are all marked up, but I have um, just a couple of paper towels to use um, <clears throat> if I make a mess or spill or need to wipe my hands or clean a brush, um, that lives in here too. <clears throat> so, um, in the bag, I also have, um, I have colored pencils. I just pulled these out for right now so you can see them and I don't have to dig around. Um, but these are just in kind of a landscape palette. Um, and they are Prismacolor brand. Um, you can pick whatever colors you want. In the bag, I keep um, I have uh, just a small palette of watercolors. These are very basic, um, just a very basic travel kit. You can put one together if you want to make it uh, more custom to you. Um, you can. It's easy to grab just a, a tin like this. Um, with empty pans in it and this would fit also but I just I, I am working on getting this filled up so I don't have a whole lot of colors in there at the moment um, or even um, this is super basic it's student grade it's nothing fancy but um, it works it, it it fits in the bag and uh, I can mix colors and it does what I need it to do. Um, let's see what else. In the bag, I also have um, some masking tape um, to trim edges and make some nice crisp edges when I'm working in the journal. I have a manual pencil sharpener. I have some uh, clips just to mark mark where I'm at in my journal pages or um, holding something down so it doesn't blow away um, if I'm working outside. Um, 
<laughs> I have just, this is just an old credit card um, and with certain kinds of um, mediums, you can use it to uh, scrape paint around uh, or make marks. Um, this is the piece that I referenced earlier that I actually used as a straight edge to tear paper. Um, and, you know, it's not a ruler, so it's not exact, but it'll get the job done um, if you are just looking for something quick and easy. Um, some other things that I have brought with me um, this time, that last time when I was traveling, I didn't because um, I was really trying to pack light. Um, <laughs> but I also sometimes bring um, some stitching. <clears throat> um, so I'll have just a, a piece of linen, some embroidery thread, and maybe some needles. Um, I'll also... Uh, bring uh, a date stamper um, and then <clears throat> if you could just go to like any any store really a uh, drugstore or Target or something they this is actually just a clear toiletry bag and um, I stole some of the bottles from that to uh, fill up with um, matte medium gesso clear gesso and then this is a spray bottle uh, that I, you can fill up with water and use um, to spray your work. Um, I've got a glue stick, uh, white paint. You can also include black paint if you wanted, like just black acrylic paint, um, craft paint, whatever. Um, and um, then if you are interested in collage, you could uh, bring some collage papers. There's all kinds of different possibilities. So whether you're working on something specific or something for yourself only uh, in your journal, it's not for any, not to share with anybody. Um, it can be really ha valuable to have a portable studio kit like this. Um, being able to bring it anywhere uh, is a really good way to uh, practice your work and grow as an artist. You can even make multiple kits for different areas of your life. Um, so I obviously here in my studio have uh, a, just a, a, a stash, a big stash of supplies. I also have um, this travel bag that comes with me. Um, I have some stuff that lives in my car. Um, I know other artists who keep supply uh, a supply bag like this next to their bed um, where they sit and watch TV. Uh, and, and of course, when you're actually traveling, um, whatever life looks like, um, there's a, there's a great way to incorporate this um, and there's room for you to fit in your creativity wherever you are. So thank you for listening to this week's art chat. I hope you got some new ideas and inspiration from today's discussion. Make sure you're following me here on Instagram to be notified about future episodes. And I will see you next week for a new episode where I'll be talking about the joy of missing out. I hope you'll join me. Have a great week, guys. Bye.